The borough's newest high school site, Abraham Guest, is set to open next year. Though the school itself dates back to 1960, a £23 million makeover is seeing it transformed into a high-quality education resource for the whole community. This week, Wigan Council leader Lord Peter Smith visited the site off Bell Lane in Oral to lay the foundation stone. Guests also met current pupils who were learning new skills, literally building their own school. The foundations that have been laid over 50 years in terms of education are going to be carried across to this site, and that's equally important. The success of Ibram Guest over the last 50 years provides the suitable foundation for the start of this 21st century school. And halfway through the project, I think we're in a position to give you an undertaking that that vision that we all share for education and the young people in the future will be realized through this 21st century One Pathfinder School. Thank you very much indeed. This is the Pathfinder BSF school. The government has a project called BSF, and Wigan wasn't on one of the early lists, but uh, they said, never mind, you can have one school. And we had four choices came through, but this, I think, was shone out as a school which could be achieved and really could make a difference and show what Wigan can achieve. Building, I think, the first secondary school in the borough for 30 years. I've been coming down here. Um, Mondays, two weeks, we split up into groups, so to, uh, we come into groups of four every two weeks and basically we just do brick lane, play on car park. It's a bit different than being in school, you take to school you've got more freedom, you've not got people telling you what to do all the time but you have to also concentrate on your work and get it done. We well, started off down on car park and then as the school gets more built we're going to progress it so we'll start working on the school itself. Lord Smith, along with cabinet members and other councillors, school staff, contractors and guests, were taken on a tour. It is a flexible space in the fact that we do have a seven-tier, just where that scaffolding is there, a seven-tier bleacher seating arrangement. As well as a new secondary school, the site will also include a primary school and a library which is open to all. And with leisure and sports facilities, plus an adult learning centre, the complex will be an asset for the local community seven days a week. What typically you would see in a standard secondary school of this size is a floor like this with eight laboratories. What's actually happened here is something quite transformational in the way that education is going to be delivered. This space as such will be transformed by um, about 70 seats here, some banquet seating for project work. Wigan Schools for the Future is an ambitious project built on the government's primary strategy for change and building schools for the future programmes. It will see over £300 million invested in once-in-a-lifetime opportunities to transform primary and secondary schools across the borough. The programme is about investing funds in new buildings and resources, and also about using this opportunity to transform learning for all ages. The new school site is set to open to pupils in the community in 2011.